Today we are tackling something that has been highly requested on the channel. The question is how do you weld sheet metal but specifically how do you weld up holes in sheet metal. As you can see I've got the inner fender of my 1972 Dodge Challenger. I recently went in and redid the entire engine bay and part of the process was to weld up these holes and then make them look nice and pretty. If you guys watched the video you guys will know that there was a bunch of holes here all around right here and I had to go in and fill in each and every one of them before I could go ahead and paint this. And so today I'm going to show you the process that I take in order to get this done. The first step that I like to take is figuring out what I'm working with, how I'm going to weld it, figure out a game plan. For example, this hole is sitting in a concave dish and so we're better off welding it from the back. The reason for that is that I'll be able to grind this one flush from the front, but if I have a clump of weld right here, I'm gonna have a hard time welding it flush to the rest of the concave surface. Versus if I weld it from the back, I'll be able to grind it down flush up against here and then if I have a little divot here, I can run some weld through primer or some body filler, sand it down by hand, and then paint it, call it good. You also have to decide what process you're going to take in order to close these holes up. For example, this one, I could just weld it up solid. This one's significantly larger, and it's going to be a lot more difficult to weld it up. Is closing this up possible? Absolutely, and I'll show you guys how. But sometimes you're going to have to pick and choose whether you're going to have to install a piece of backing behind it and then weld it shut, or then maybe cut out a bigger section, replace that with sheet metal, and then just tack weld it in, grind it down flush, and then call it good. So now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and start the welding process. If you try to weld this just as it is right now, you're gonna have a difficult time. The primer that's on here is not gonna give you very good contact with the welding wire. So we're gonna have to grind that down to give us a little bit of clean metal. All right, so I've just prepped the hole as best as I can. It's not gonna be perfect. There's still some stuff in here that I just won't be able to get to. I did run my step drill bit a little bit and I cleaned up some of the inside. So we're just gonna have to deal with it. The sheet metal of a car is not a perfect surface. So a lot of times we're gonna have to deal with impurities and junk inside of the weld pool, even if we don't want to. Now let's talk about technique a little bit. This hole is on a vertical surface, right? So any kind of weld that you're gonna put on it is going to wanna sag. It's gonna wanna droop down. The more you weld on it, the more it's gonna to wanna to droop. So what you do not wanna do is weld it top to bottom because what you're gonna to start to do is you're going to melt the surface and you're gonna be pushing it down with the wire and it's gonna go down, down, down. You're just gonna be making yourself a bigger hole. The next option is to actually just hit it straight. So when you hit it straight, you can go zap, 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 zap. The drawback of doing it like that is whenever you're done spot welding, the spot weld tends to point toward the gun. So you're gonna have a bunch of spot welds pointing towards you. So the way that I like to do it is I like to go up from the bottom. So I like to go zap, 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 and then just keep going left to right, left to right. So that way when the weld pool cools a little bit, the spot welds are going to be pointed down and it's going to be easier to blend that spot weld onto the rest of the sheet metal. Versus if you hit it straight, all the spot welds are going to be pointed towards you and it's gonna be a little bit more difficult blending that down to the sheet metal. Now let's go ahead and see this in action. And there you have it, it is all welded up. I'll give it a little bit of time to cool down and then we're gonna grind it down flush and see what it looks like. So here's what the weld looks like after it's all ground down. I tried to take off as little material as possible so I could probably dig a little bit on this bump and then maybe make this black mark disappear. This is a result of the impurities that I was talking about. As the paint burns and boils, it's gonna create air bubbles. The air bubbles take the place of the weld and if the air can't escape, it creates voids just like you can see here. If we take a look at the back side, this is what the back looks like. If this is something that people are going to see, you can go back and hit this with the grinder as well. And then similarly hit it with body filler, paint, primer, etc. Now, if we look on the right hand side, we have an even larger hole. This is about, I don't know, I wanna say maybe three eighths, 10 millimeters or so. And we're going to be using the same exact process that we used on the tiny hole on this hole as well. So let's go ahead and knock that out and see how that turns out.
So this was the hole that we did before, and this is the hole that we just plugged up. If you look very closely, you could still see a little tiny divot right there. But like I said, some high build primer, regular primer, and then a little bit of block sanding will make this guy disappear. If you're welding on clean metal, then you shouldn't have any kind of divots like this. The contamination in the weld pool really likes to wreak havoc whenever you're trying to make repairs on sheet metal. Now my process to do this is exactly the same between flux core and MIG, both gas and gasless. With proper prep and technique, you guys should be able to get better results than what I have here. If you guys need tips on how to set up your machine to weld sheet metal, I'll have a link here in the middle of the screen or in the description down below. I will see you guys all in the next one. Night Wrencher, signing out.